I'm doing it. I'm making a computer in Minecraft. So, I'm making a series about how you can build a computer in Minecraft. This is how far I am on a RAM chip. This series is not for beginners in redstone. So if you're if you're looking on learning redstone, you might as well go to like Seth Bling's redstone lessons or whatever. And there's some pretty good resources on learning redstone from Minecraft, but this one is actually learning how to turn those things you learned that you might not think of as the most needed information, such as logic gates and stuff. Um, you can use those kind of things to do some really neat stuff. So today I'm going to teach you how to create a register in Minecraft. In case you don't know, a register is a way of storing data on a computer. It stores sometimes a 1-bit value, sometimes more. I'm teaching you how to build a 1-bit register. So let's get started. So you see I put these three pieces of redstone. You need a gap and then a seven block gap, then another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should do perfectly. So I'm gonna create the, I can't remember what it's called, but it doesn't necessarily matter at the moment. It reverses it so that if it's positive, it's negative, negative, positive, that kind of thing. Just turns it from on to off and everything. But you should already know that. If you're trying to build a redstone computer, you probably already know at least a little bit about redstone. You should if you're watching this series, though. Oops, wrong thing. I keep doing that because that was my original design, then I realized... You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to have it like that. So, yeah. But my new design, it actually works. So, you should be building it like this. Sorry if you messed up there and you're in survival. But even then, it's still an easy thing to fix. Because it's just destroying some redstone. Which you can do that in survival with your hands. So... Yeah, I created a couple AND gates. You'll notice I have, what it is is that this is the state. This is the register the state. So what it is is that it stores a value and then it changes to whatever the value, the uh, whatever the value is in this one, whenever this goes, whenever this is on, then this can update. When this is off, this cannot update. So, you can always just build this. Right now, I'm actually creating a NOR gate. Yeah, that's important. It's a NOR gate. Don't place that there. If you do, there's an easy way to fix it, but it's... You might as well just avoid problems before they actually start. You might as well just not do something to get the problem. Later I'll show you actually what happens if you do encounter this problem. But I think that's about it actually. So, so you heard me about how this works. So when this is on, this can this updates the output, but when this is off, this cannot update. Over there I've got a big row of them to create the RAM chip. But I'm not done with that yet, and you need to know how how the registers work. So whenever I talk about how you to build a RAM chip, you know how it works. There's a better way of doing this in Minecraft, but you don't learn about how computers work as much. If you do this, actually. Bam. Same thing as that, except it's smaller. The downsides to this, though, is that if you're learning how to build a computer and how computer science works, then you might as well just build this, because this is actually based off of the designs 
of an this is actually based off of the designs of a of a real register it's I think it's a D uh, it's a it's a gated D flip flop is what it's called I'm pretty sure so you use these a lot whenever having a RAM chip so this is my little design I made for it this if I remember right it does the exact same thing as this though so if you're not trying to learn computer science or anything and you just want a computer in Minecraft and you don't really care about learning and everything for this because I think of this as a really neat learning kind of as a really neat learning project about learning computer science a little bit because I'm really interested in that kind of thing so this is just like if you want a Minecraft computer maybe at your base on a PVP server to calculate a couple things then you might just want this and you're probably just gonna make a small little computer but if you're gonna be in creative learning how to make an amazing learning how a computer and what works and everything then you just should build that it's better so just build this one you could probably compact this quite a bit without doing that as long as you have as long as you use this it's actually a design I saw on Wikipedia but it seems to work real well how it works is that you've got this the it it just changes the output whatever it's called and as this output this comes from the same input wire as that so whenever this is on this will whenever this is on this one if it, when this is on and this is off this one will be on but not this one it'll be it'll be the other way around if this is on when this is off it never works that's the whole point behind it but this actually I think it might just be an NS nor latch actually so you could probably come back to this quite a bit just by using a regular old NS nor latch this way makes it easier to look at and go oh look you've got this NS nor latch over here the two AND gates this is an this is an inverted signal and all that you can kind of look at it and just see what's happening with this one you could probably compact it but if you did that too much then you wouldn't be able to tell what's going on so this one is an, it gives a nice looking effect it does the same speed takes up more room though so trying to make a compact one could be your goal but I mean this one's probably better for learning doing a nice large one but you don't want it to be too large so just big enough like this to where you can kind of see exactly what's going on and everything so you can kind of see how this works it will actually power you should know how how the the RS nor latches work so you should know how that works and you just see this AND gate and everything so that's basically the whole concept to it this one the whole concept to it is that whenever this is powered by another repeater then it sticks with the signal it was at so it's not the same concept this one's more the computer science concept this is more of a minecraft concept so i mean yeah now you know how to build a register in minecraft and you don't even have to be using this for redstone computer really it could be used in any contraption or if you're just looking for or if you just want to know how to make a or if you just want to know how to make a gated D flip-flop, this is perfect. So, thanks for watching. Bye.